You know the word? Hey, wait, come here. I think it's better with lemon. Give me one with lemon, Grandpa. Oh, no. <laughs> I got my tongue. Yeah, oh, I saw him out there. Uh, it's good for kids to learn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a Mexican thing. That's what we got from Mexican Z-Tech. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarducci, and you already saw the video of me prepping the jalapeno poppers. Well, we had a few people asking how does that work out on the grill? Well, I've got the grill going. I'm also doing some baby back ribs. Well, not even baby back. They're pork ribs, but they're a lot bigger than what we normally get. And uh, we got some beef ribs in there. Got sausage links. Um, they're deer jerky. Um, also got some chicken fajitas. Going to do some beef fajitas as well. But yeah, there's my pit. <clears throat> it is old. It's been in the cooking sensations of our videos for about two years now. If not a little longer. And yep, just putting it in there for sure. So we'll see what's up over here with the kids who they want to ride. So... <clears throat> Alright guys, so as you can tell, I've got the flame to one side. I'm cooking up my chicken right now. And I've already done some beef fajitas that have already been pulled off. Um, all of the 
pre-cooking that you see that already has been done was while I was doing my jalapeno poppers, but I couldn't keep the camera in both areas. And uh, it's because I only have one, brought one tripod instead of both of them, but there we go. Still smoking it up and letting the fire build up just a little bit more so I can get that heat going to make sure everything can rock out all the way across. All right, guys, so you see my flame is getting up there. That's what I'm talking about. Get that heat going. So I need my ribs, my pork ribs over here to be able to have enough heat so that they smoke up pretty well. So by building up the heat and keeping it to one side allows me to control the whole pit with smoking without overburning everything, especially since I got shrimp in the poppers. And by pre-cooking them a little bit also gave me an opportunity to get them soft, a little softer before I actually got them wrapped up.
you're definitely gonna see the time change there, man. It's already starting to get dark. I'm gonna have to bust out my DeWalt light so that way we can still see the good colorness that's happening on the grill right there. But them coals are looking nice. Adding in some more mesquite into my pit there so that way I can keep the flame going. Oh, look at that juiciness. Oh, yeah. Long day of cooking right there and wrapping. Them jalapeno poppers definitely took a lot of energy to cook those up. Everything else, go and get it sliced up. And you're gonna get see the finished product here in just a minute. And get a little bit of a picture of the rice. Oh man, look at that sausage, chicken, beef fajitas, beef ribs, Spanish rice, and some chato beans. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Check out these jalapeno poppers. See, now you know why I use the two skewers. Oh man, talk about deliciousness. And for you guys, I never flip my poppers. I don't even have to with the way I got them set up like that. Look at all of that, all the cheese and everything still on it. 